There's lots of them in our backyard. Wow. Guys, we found Bigfoot fur. Bigfoot fur just no. fell right in front of us. Bigfoot fur is over there. You want to show them the Bigfoot tree? Yeah. So we are exploring the area behind our house, still our property. Guys, it's I don't think any of you are noticing this, but there's hair everywhere. Big oh my goodness, Bigfoot's been here. <gasps> oh, guys, who made Look at that. Guys, who made these footprints? I don't know. Guys. That. Guys, oh, log down there with all the moss on it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Full and complete. Oh, that's cool. Guys, look at that. 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 Look Okay, let's go see what else we can find. Yeah. Let me see your Bigfoot fur. Oh my gosh. There's a lot, huh? Are. They're growing. And fillies. They're growing right out of the stump. Could this be a little fairy village? They would see a little mushrooms. That's because those I touched. We went to the beach and found quite a few beautiful stones to create a collection that we could choose from for the face of our hearth. But before we can do that, we've got to get it built.
path is complete, we need to get the brick panels up behind the wall to really create a focal point in our home. So that's up next. The brick is up and it's finally time for the install of our new wood stove. All right, the hearth is complete. We finished it up last night, it set overnight, and it looks like the rocks are pretty secure, and they seem to be pretty sturdy. I will push on that a little bit. There's no budging at all. So it looks like the grout is holding firm. Time will tell, but we are really happy with the way our DIY hearth came out. It's a nice little comfy, cozy corner. Ah, it's done. <laughs>